On May 17th of 2009, Usain Bolt ran the 150 meters in 14.35 seconds, setting a new world record that still stands today. This was a classic Usain Bolt performance. He was smooth, he was fast, he was oddly comfortable, but he also had a top-end speed that was completely unmatched, as he cruised away from the entire field almost effortlessly over the second half. This world record time was but a taste of what was to come in 2009, as Bolt went on to break three world records at the World Championships in Berlin, Germany, running the 100 meters in 9.58 seconds, the 200 meters in 19.19, and also the 4 by 100 meter relay in 37.31 seconds. 2009 was a pretty crazy year for Usain Bolt, as he was breaking records almost every single time he touched the track. However, this 150 meter race really was one of the most underrated performances, and it has now stood as the world's fastest time for just over 13 years. The closest that anyone has ever gotten to this time was Tyson Gay from the United States just one year later in 2010, when he actually split a 150 meter time en route to a 200 meter performance in 14.41 seconds, falling just short of Usain Bolt's 150 world record. And even though these two times have now stood far away from any other athlete to ever compete in this event, we just witnessed something very special that just might rival these two legends. Just one day ago, the American athlete Fred Curley posted this video on Instagram, where according to his information, he ran a time of 14.01 seconds for a 150 meter sprint, which of course would be a new world record in this event. Now, I've been very impressed with Fred Curley's performances over the previous few years, as he's now won an Olympic silver medal in the 100 meters, a world championship bronze in the 400, and he's also become the third athlete ever to go sub-10 in the 100, sub-20 in the 200, and also sub-44 in the 400 meters. This incredible combination of speed and strength makes Curley one of the most well-rounded sprinters to ever compete, and it certainly seems as though he will be a force to be reckoned with over the following few seasons. However, was this performance that he ran in practice actually a 14.01 in the 150? Now here's a list of the fastest 150 athletes to ever compete in track and field. As we previously mentioned, you've got Usain Bolt and Tyson Gay up front, but we also have many other all-time greats, such as Johan Blake, Michael Johnson, Maurice Green, and Donovan Bailey. These athletes are some of the most successful and influential figures in the sport of running, so to say with confidence that Fred Curley took down these athletes by over three-tenths of a second, including the legend himself, Usain Bolt, seems like kind of a stretch when you look at the bigger picture. Now, when I first saw this video, my immediate reaction was that Fred Curley seems like the perfect athlete to take a shot at the 150 world record, so perhaps this performance was in fact legitimate. But then you have to take into account many of the different factors going on here, such as the inconsistency of hand timing in any sprinting performance, also the presence of the wind during this run, and also, was he actually running a full 150 meters here? These questions are extremely important, and they could change the finishing time by significant amounts for Fred Curley. But to get a better idea as to exactly how fast he was running in this performance, I did some of my own timing, and I actually got times of 14.25, 14.32, and also 14.31, which is quite the significant amount away from 14.01. However, I could also be incorrect, because it is difficult to see exactly when he crosses the finish line here. So what we'll do is we'll put up the full racing clip, and I challenge all of you to time Fred Curley yourself, and leave the time that you get in the comment section down below. I will say that Fred Curley is looking extremely fit in this clip, and that scream though, the man has some lungs. 
Moving into the US Championships this upcoming weekend and the World Championships in under one month's time, Curly has to be considered as one of the favorites to take home a medal in both the 100 and the 200 meters. And with this in mind, I'll pass the final question off to you. How fast do you think he will run this season? And will he win a world medal come the biggest races of this season? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.